For more on the debate over new evidence showing the COVID-19 virus may have been man-made, joining us now is Mercedes Schlapp, former White House communications advisor to President Trump, and Hogan Gidley, former White House deputy press secretary and former campaign press secretary for Trump. Good to see you both. Mercedes, first to you. Now, as you well know, President Biden's State Department denies now that, in, that they shut down the COVID origin investigation. Do you believe them? <laughs> we don't know what to believe, right, David, uh, when it comes to the Biden administration. We hope that's the case. We hope that they're going to investigate not only what happened in the Wuhan uh, lab, but why not investigate Dr. Fauci and the CDC? And let's figure out what's happening there, how uh, we, you know, where they, they've shifted guidelines from one day right. to the next, uh, to the point that, you know, Dr. Fauci is now admitting that uh, maybe there could have been NIH funding that was going to the Wuhan lab. Uh, so these are questions that require to be answered. It's why you've seen uh, Senator Rand Paul out there now highlighting uh, the change of language that Dr. Fauci has used in talking about the Wuhan lab. And, you know, and it shows that we've been beholden to organizations like the World Health Organization that gave a pass to China yeah. uh, when the virus uh, started spreading into different countries. And so they have to be accountable, which is why they shouldn't right. uh, uh, finance and fund uh, the World Health Organization that we know right. is uh, politically uh, held by uh, and influenced by the Chinese. But Hogan, I, I want to keep it on what the Biden administration is saying today about what happened, because clearly they were embarrassed by the information coming out this morning, come, came out and said, no, that investigation was over. But David Asher, as we've mentioned before, highly respected uh, throughout uh, the State Department uh, universe, uh, he was leading that investigation for the Trump administration. He came out and said, Quote, I don't know why the Biden team would doubt an effort to carry out a fair and accurate investigation into a subject that increasing numbers of leading scientists are now also calling to study. Again, if you have to choose between David Asher and what we're hearing from the Biden administration now, where do you go? Oh, David Asher, obviously. I mean, look, this has been a joke from the get-go. The president of the United States, Donald Trump, pointed this out, as did Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. We were moving forward with that investigation because it was obviously problematic. The origins of this virus were under serious question. The Democrats, the media, and big tech stopped the conversation because if there's any story that is good for Donald Trump, um, they didn't want to report it. If the story was bad for Joe Biden, they didn't want to report it. Mm -hmm. So chances are the media aren't going to push forward uh, with this investigation of the investigation at all. In fact, let's be clear about what's happening here. The major levels of power, uh, levers of power in this country, I should say, the ones that can change the narrative on a dime are all controlled by liberals. It's Hollywood, it's colleges and universities, it's uh, the mainstream media, and well, of it's course, also, big tech. For, and forgive me, tech Hogan, can but it's, it's, all it's, of us it's also for these conversations, the careerists, we've got a serious problem. It's also the careerists at the State Department. And frankly, that's why David Asher said it was necessary to have this this sort of independent investigation, independent of a lot of careerists who wanted to provide cover uh, Mercedes for the Chinese government and what they did in, in creation of this uh, virus, if, if in fact it was created in a lab, right? Yeah, that's right. And look, I think the American people and actually across the globe, we deserve to know an answer. We've seen yes. uh, over 500,000 Americans die in this country right. from COVID. And, uh, and the mere fact is, is that it was Republicans like Senator Tom Cotton that brought up this issue, asking these questions on whether uh, it did originate in a lab. Now you're seeing Dr. Fauci change his tune. Uh, but right. remember, those Republicans, including the president, they were highly criticized by the left, by the social media yeah. companies uh, and saying and, and for, by the liberal media saying this is not possible. Well, and it's, still it, so, it, it, some of them, not, some of them are me. still being exiled from Facebook and, and right. other social media platforms. It's extraordinary, even though now we have evidence, very strong evidence that indeed it did come from a lab. We still don't know for right. sure. But there's very strong evidence that it did. Uh, Mercedes Hogan, we've got to leave it at that. I wish we had more time. This is an hour subject, at least. We appreciate you coming here.